Hello everyone and then welcome to another video. Okay, so in this video we'll be treating um bounds, okay, bounds and then um we are strauss um bozano bozano's theory, okay. So is it we strauss bozano or something like that, okay? Right, so in case you are new to this channel, I'll urge you to you know subscribe to the channel, um turn on your post notifications, okay, in case you find this video very, very helpful so that you don't miss out on any other uploading video like the video share and then let me know your questions in the comment section and then i will reply to them as soon as possible okay so when we talk about bounds okay so we are looking at bounds okay so we know that a set okay a set must have both an upper bound okay and then a lower bound okay so once a set has upper bound and lower bound it means that that set is what bounded okay so you can put it in this form that a set must have both upper and lower bound for it to be called a bounded set okay right so i'll what we'll be doing is just um trying to find out how to identify a set which has a specific bounds okay so once you are given a set we will try to find out how to find what a lower bound and then what a upper bound and again i'll be introducing how to also um, find the lower upper bound and then what greatest lower bound okay so in case this sounds interesting and then you've been what you've been um trying to find a video that would help you understand this concept i would urge you to um pay rapid attention okay so that you get to understand now let's proceed from there now so in case you are given what a set okay so in case you are given any set okay so a set is one one on two okay one on three one on four okay one on five okay so it could continue like that okay right so we have to find what the bound of what this set okay so the simplest approach i would urge you to use is that maybe you, you won't be even taught okay right so all you have to do is just find use a whole number okay note that always it always has to be a whole number okay the value you'll be choosing as your reference point has to be a whole number okay so pick a reference number which is a whole number okay so from here you can notice that one on two one on three one on four one on five are all fractions okay the only whole number over here is one okay so let's pick one as a reference point okay so one is our reference point now you have to pick any number greater than one okay and then a number greater than one and then a, a number less than one okay so what i mean is that pick a number which is the closest um number which is greater than what one and then the closest number which is less than one okay so when picking a number which is closest greater than one that's what two okay and then when you pick a number which is um closest less than one is what negative one don't pick zero okay we, we won't consider zero by here pick a whole number which is not zero okay so from here you could notice that we have what our upper and what lower bound so these are what these are upper bound okay and then these are what lower bound okay so for the bound for this set is what two minus one okay so this is the bound for this set so we have our what upper bound and lower bound you see how simple this is this is how you find what, what your bounds okay once you are given the set you pick the the whole number among the set to be your reference number okay and then that number has to be at least small okay and then you try picking the closest highest number okay and then the closest lowest number of that reference number okay which was what one over here in this example okay so we pick the highest closest number which was two and then the highest the lowest closest number which was minus one note we didn't we didn't use zero okay right so this will be our bounds okay we have our upper bound and then our lower bound now let's see how we find what our low um lowest upper bound and what greatest lowest bound okay so this is how you go by that so for finding your what um your greatest um lower bound and what the lower the lowest or lower upper bound this is the formula you'll be using so once you try finding the what the lowest upper bound okay so lowest upper bound 
for lowest upper bound all you have to do is just subtract your um reference number from what your upper bound okay so this is your upper bound this is your upper bound okay subtracted from the reference value okay so this is our reference one was our reference point okay or reference number and then for for finding your greatest um lower bound okay so for finding your greatest okay greatest lower bound okay all you have to do is just add your reference what value or reference number to the what lower bound okay so you add your add your reference number okay to the lower bound okay so let's see how you will end up with um, the respective lower upper bound and what greatest lower bound okay so now for our upper bound you know that we know that is what two okay so two minus one give us what one okay and then we have our lower bound which is what negative one okay and then you add that to what one giving us what zero okay so from here You've been able to find our lower bound upper bound greatest lower lower bound okay and then what um lower upper bound okay so we know that lower upper bound okay is one and then what we have um the greatest lower bound which is what zero okay right i hope this was very very simple and then useful okay this is this um the simplest way okay or the smartest way for finding what upper bound lower bound lowest upper bound and then the greatest what lower bound okay right so let, let's proceed to what um we have stress goes on theory okay so let's see we have Right, so we have what we are stress bosano theory, okay? So we are stress bosano theory is all about um combining bounds, okay? Bounds with what limit points, okay? We are trying to combine bounds and limit points into what one concept, okay? So these are two uh, mathematicians, okay? I will say mathematicians, we are stress and what bosano, okay? We are stress and what bosano. So the we are stress and bosano theory um is all about what. It says that every bounded in um bounded infinite set okay must have at least one limit point okay so all we are trying to do is just um um take a set okay and then we we find out whether it has bounds okay that's upper bound lower bound and then after that we find out whether that same set has what at least one limit point okay so that's what the real stress bosano theory is all about you find a set you check whether it has upper and lower bound okay and then after that you find out whether it has what at least one limit point okay at least one limit point means that either one limit point or more okay right so let's take an example okay let's take an example so provided you've been given what a set in this format okay you've been given a set um you've been given a set of one on n okay and then you are given the n values to what one Two, three, three, okay, four, like that, okay, and then we are to, we are told to what prove what Weierstrass Boltzmann theory, okay, prove the Weierstrass Boltzmann theory. This is all you have to do, okay. So let's see how you solve that. First, you have to um come up with this set, okay. So the formula is what one on n, so the set. The set S, okay. The set S is what one on one, which is one. Okay, we are using one on one on n. Okay, so n is one. Okay, so one on one is one. And then you move on to what one on what n is two. So we have what one on two, and then we have what one on three. Okay, one on four. Okay, like that. Now let's check or let's find out the bound. Okay, you have to um, identify the bound for this set okay so as stated earlier you have to pick your reference number okay the reference number has to be a whole number take note of that it's very very important very 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 crucial the reference number has to be a whole number okay 
and then it has to be a positive whole number okay keep that in mind so let's pick our reference number so our reference number for this set is what one okay so let's now after picking this we find what the closest um number which is greater than one and then the closest number which is less than one okay so the closest number which is greater than one that's our upper bound will be what two and then the great um, the closest number which is less than this reference number which is one and then it doesn't have to be zero is what negative one okay right so we have we now have our upper bound okay and then lower bound okay now so we've been able to verify the first step for what proving real Strasbourg theory okay and that is what checking whether we have what the set has what bounds okay and then we've been able to prove that because the theory state states that every bounded infinite set has must have okay at least one limit point okay so now we have we have identified that this set has what a bounded what infinite is a is a set which has bounds okay that's upper and lower bound now let's find out whether this set this same set has what limit point okay so that we will prove that we will really prove that this set um applies to what the real stress goes on theory now from here okay so in case provided you've already watched our video okay I uploaded video on limit points okay on how to find limit points or the eight um, secret tricks to finding what limit points of sets okay the, the cheat sheet I uploaded you will notice that I I also talked about what how to find in okay or how to find um, the limit points of sets okay by just looking at them okay so I gave you the cheat sheet so from just looking at this, I could just tell that the limit point of this set is what? 0 and then 1, okay? 0 and 1. Provided you've already watched that video we initially uploaded, you bear with me that this is this set has um, limit point of 0 and then 1, okay? So the limit point of this set is what? 0 and 1. So it says at least, so it, it could be 1. Or it could be zero or it could be both okay right that's why from the initial stages of um, algebra 2 I said that once you study one one concept okay you'll be applying it throughout okay so once you know how to find bounds you'll be you'll be using that to um, finding the what or proving the real strike Bolzano theory and then once you know how to find the limit point of sets you'll be also using that or implementing that and find what or proving your strength goes down with your now let's look at another example okay let's look at the second example so provided um you've been given a set okay a set x okay and then you are given the set formula to what 1 over 2 exponent n and then you are given the n values okay as 1 2 3 just like that, okay. So you have to prove the real stress Bolzano theory, okay. So all you have to do is just find the bounds, and then after that, you check whether the set has what limit points. In case it doesn't have any limit points, it means that it doesn't apply to real stress Bolzano theory. But once it does, it means that the set applies to the theory, okay. So let's let's find that. So let's just let's first find the set, okay. S. Right, so 1 on 2n, okay? So when n is 1, we have what? 1 over 2. When n is what? 2, we have what? 1 over 4. And then when n is 3, we have what? 1 over 8, okay? Right. And then it continues like that. Now, let's check whether um this set has bounds, okay? So let's check whether this set has bounds. Okay, from here, we could notice that this set doesn't have any bounds okay it doesn't have any bound because from the principle i initially stated when choosing the reference point the reference point has to be what a positive whole number okay a positive whole number and then from here you could notice that we have what only functions over here these are only fractions okay so this set hasn't doesn't have any bounds okay doesn't have any bounds so let's check for the limit points now 
in case again you watch our video on limit points okay the eight tips on how to find limit points you will notice that um this set has no limit point okay it has no limit point okay um a set of um fractions okay which are in the form of an even fraction okay so one on two one on four one on eight do not have limit points okay right um this brings us to the end of this um tutorial video i hope you learned a lot and then this video um, might have um, enhanced your understanding of the topic of bounds and what we are to do theory, okay? And then in case you want to see more of these um, videos which will help augment your studies, okay? Help you learn smart, not hard. I would urge you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, turn on your post notifications, and then in case you have any questions, okay, just leave them in the comment section and then I'll reply to them as soon as possible. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.